everyone, this is Farhat Naeem and you are watching India Leader. In this video, we will be discussing two cases whereby principal and instances of quashing a FIR by the High Court either under Article 226 of the Constitution of India or under Section 482 of the Code of Criminal Procedure is explained. The case that we will be discussing is the case of Niharika Infrastructure versus the State of Maharashtra, where the Supreme Court of India has laid down principles of law with regards to quashing of the complaint. The principles are police has the statutory right and duty to investigate into cognizable offences. Court would not restrict an investigation into the cognizable offences. However, in the case where no cognizable offence or offence or any kind is disclosed in the first information report, the court will not permit an investigation to go on. The power of quashing should be exercised in the rarest of rare cases. The court also noted that the first information report is not an encyclopedia which must disclose all the facts and details related to the offence reported. Therefore, when the investigation by the police is in progress, the court should not go into the merits of the allegation in the FIR. Police must be permitted to complete the investigation. The court also noted that the quashing should be as per the parameters laid down by the Honorable Supreme Court of India in the case of State of Haryana versus Bhajan Lal. In the case of Bhajan Lal, instances are mentioned whereby High Court could quash a complaint either to prevent the abuse of process of the court or otherwise to secure the ends of the justice. The following categories of cases are where the allegation made in the first information report or the complaint do not prima facie constitute any offence or make out a case against the accused, where the allegation do not disclose a cognizable offence, where the allegation and the evidence collected in support do not disclose the commission of any offence and made out a case against the accused, where the allegation made are so absurd and inherently improbable on the basis of which no prudent person can ever reach to a just conclusion, where a criminal proceeding is manifestly attended with a malafide and where the proceeding is maliciously instituted with an ulterior motive for wrecking vengeance on the accused and with a view to spite him due to the private and personal grudge. Section 482 of CRPC has a wide scope and is an essential part of the functioning of the High Court in order to meet the ends of the justice. But at the same time, it becomes important for the courts to use it wisely and according to the principles laid down by the Supreme Court of India in the above mentioned cases. If you found our videos informative and you learned something new, please like and share our video. And for more videos like this, subscribe India Legal.